All right, now we're going to show how to do the arc, and there's three different ways of doing the arcs. You can have an open open arc, a pie, like for a pie chart, or a chord, which is a segment of the circle that uh, has joined. So the pie and the chord are going to be closed figures. Uh, again, I'm using the Zcode uh, tutorial as a template, just to make it easy to show uh, what I want to show you here. So the arc is real similar to the ellipse. I'm going to use my same program that draws a hundred random values uh, on the screen. So we're going to create a new arc 2D. I think this needs to be double here. Object. And uh, let's make sure with the uh, whoops. Control Shift I. Up. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I've got that lowercase, of course. It's got to be uppercase. That's a class name. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright. So... All right, now the parameters here are similar to the ellipse. So it's going to be the start point and the uh, start x and y. So start x, start y. And then this uses the bounding rectangle here. So instead of nx and ny, we're going to have width and height. And as we saw before, uh, to get ones that work nicely here, we uh, modify this random value in this fashion. Okay, alright, so start x, start y. And then width, height. And then you have the start of the arc and the end of the arc. And I'm not sure if those are in radians or degrees here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, draw some 90 degree ones and see what happens. Now the last part of this is... Oops, there we go. Uh, a constant that indicates if you, which kind of arc you want. So we'll start here, and you can see you can, the three options here. So that can be chord, open, or pi. Let's do open the first time, and then we'll run our program several times and try that. Okay? All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's give it a shot and see if it works. So here we go. So you can see the arcs are all kind of the same. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase the uh, range here. So instead of 90, let's double that and make that 180. I'm pretty sure that's in radians instead of degrees, and that's why I'm getting a weird kind of thing. And let's go ahead and try out the chord, which should give us little uh, segments of the circle. That's what a chord is. Whoops, I got it misspelled. There we go. Alright, try again. So there are the chords. And it looks like now we've gotten... Uh, it might be in de degrees after all there. That's interesting. Alright. Now I'll try the pi. This is for doing pie charts, as you can imagine. And uh, now that I've got an idea how this works, let's make this 270 here. So it should give us a three-quarter pie. It looks like it is in degrees after all. Yep, there we go. And then, of course, if we want to make these all circular arcs, we set the width and the height to be the same for the bounding region. So one last one we'll do here. We'll set them to have that circular shape. 
And we'll have plenty of pie to eat here. There it is. So that actually completes the basic graphic shapes that are available in the 2D class. I think there's some uh, polygons and line segments that we'll have to look at later. But this is actually one of the sections of the online uh, graphics 2D Java tutorial trail. Alright, there we go.